Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Last time we talked about some awesome products that you could get on Amazon. Today I will be bringing to your screen deep insights on yet more amazing products that you can order on Amazon. And so stick around and enjoy the show. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notified when I drop more interesting contents. <music> using our Belgian waffle maker. Has a beautiful design, it's all stainless top, a nice wide arched handle that makes it really easy to lift the cover when you're using it. In the front here you'll notice it has a red light on this side and a green light on the other side. This is your um, red light tells you that you have heat and uh, the unit's being heated up. The green light when it goes on lets you know that it's time to bake your waffle and then it will go out when you add the batter and the light will turn green again and it'll let you know that the waffle is actually completely cooked. So you'll notice it has um, multiple settings here from one to six. That's your um, browning setting. So that makes it really easy um, to use. The other thing is when I open it, you'll notice it has a very large, generous sized waffle plate and it's also um, nonstick coated. So it makes it really easy to remove your waffles. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you how simple and easy it's going to be to make a Belgian style waffle. So we have all of our dry ingredients in this bowl. What we're going to do is we're going to add the eggs to the ingredients, to the dry ingredients, and then two cups of milk. And then we also have um, a little bit of oil. I'm just going to now what we're going to do is we're just going to whisk this all together until all the ingredients are um, combined. And as soon as that's done, what we're going to do is we're going to mix this up. The nice thing about this Belgian waffle maker is it makes a really, really crisp exterior waffle with a real nice tender golden interior. Then what we're going to do is we're going to just lightly coat the waffle maker plates with some vegetable oil, just very quickly. That's important to do too, especially the first couple of times you use your waffle maker. Just brush it on nice and evenly so that it gets coated. And what we're gonna do is we're going to actually add the batter. Add a little bit more because this is one scoop is about half a cup. Just gonna add a little bit more. We're gonna close the waffle maker down. What's gonna happen? It's gonna start baking. What we're gonna do is let it continue cooking. We're gonna come back and check on our waffle. So our waffle is ready. You'll notice the green light is on, so it's done baking. It also beeped to let me know that it was finished. It's gonna open it. Ooh, look how pretty. I could have put just a little bit more um, waffle batter in there to fill it out, but it came out really nice. Just gonna put that there, close it. I'm gonna just put a little, look, they're almost shaped like little hearts, even though I didn't quite make it to the edge of the batter. But if you do, it's gonna end up to be this beautiful round, perfectly crisp on the outside, tender on the inside. You could have half of this or split it with your you know, husband or your kids or your nieces and nephews. It's a great way to have breakfast on Sunday and make it a big family event. Five minutes later. Fifty years ago, we put a man on the moon. 
today, we've put chicken inside a waffle. The new Stuffler Stuffed Waffle Maker stuffs waffles with all your favorite foods. One delicious bite for mankind. The new Stuffler by Presto. 